Okay, in today's video, we are going to do a quick Coulomb's law problem, and this is a problem you often see teachers do in school or in a textbook where we have two charges, and we're going to figure out the force between those two charges, and in this case, each charge is one Coulomb, one being positive one Coulomb, and one being minus one Coulomb, and they're separated by a distance of one meter. And the point, a part of this is that one Coulomb is a lot of charge, and as you'll see, when you have one Coulomb on each side of one meter, that you get a lot of force between them. So this is just a diagram I drew of the situation Q1 and Q2. They're opposite charges, so they're going to be attracted to each other. So this is the direction of the force. The force uh, F12 is the force on 1 from 2, and the force 21 is the force on charge 2 from charge 1. They are going to be opposite and equal to each other in uh, opposite in direction and equal in magnitude. And we're going to use, of course, Coulomb's law, KQ1, Q2, separated by, uh, divided by the square, the distance between the two charges, and of course we're going to use um, Coulomb's constant, which is 9 times 10 to the ninth Newton meter squared, Coulomb squared, okay? So all we're going to do is plug the numbers in here and let's see what we get. So we have that the force, the electric force between these two charges is K, which as I just said is 9 times 10 to the ninth Newton meter squared, coulomb squared, and then we have both of the charges are one coulomb. Now, when we do this, we don't use the negative sign. We just put in one coulomb, one coulomb. We just put in the magnitude of the charge because coulomb's law is the law we use to determine the magnitude of the force. The direction we determined based on the fact that the charges are opposite charges. Okay, but this coulomb's law we only use to determine the magnitude of the force, so therefore we just use the magnitude of the charge. So it's K times 1 Coulomb times 1 Coulomb divided by, separated by a meter, so 1 meter squared. Of course, 1 meter is squared, it's just 1. we got a bunch of 1s here and a 9 times 10 to the 9, so maybe you can see what's going to happen. But we have Coulomb and a Coulomb and this Coulomb squared, so that's going to cancel. This is meter squared, so this meter is going to cancel, and you'll see that we come up with that the amount of force, the magnitude of the force between two one coulomb charges, okay, that are separated by a meter is nine times ten to the ninth newtons. Now if you think about that, that's a lot of newtons. Maybe if you've ever used a spring scale in class, you know, the spring scales, you could imagine what it might be, that that is actually nine billion newtons. So these tiny little things, electrons, we had a bunch of electrons, one coulomb of electrons on one side and one coulomb of electrons on the other side of a meter stick, and they were separated by a meter a meter stick, you would get one billion newtons of force between them. Okay, that is equivalent to 9.2 times 10 to the 8th kilograms on Earth, and that is equivalent to 2 billion pounds, about 2 billion pounds. So you can imagine, you know, if you had, like, on that on your chest or you're trying to hold that up you know you have one coulomb of charge on the ground the other coulomb of charge in your hand and you try to hold those two away from each other because they're attracted to each other because they're opposite charges It'd be very hard to do or maybe even impossible okay so uh, that's just a quick Coulomb's law problem. It is a little interesting to think about. You know, people say one Coulomb of charge. What is one Coulomb of charge? Well, one Coulomb of charge is a lot of charge. All right? So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting and helpful. If you did, you can give me a thumbs up or a nice comment in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a nice day.